Hi guys. This lesson is going to take all of the drugs that you've heard about and put them in categories based off of how they affect your body. So these are going to be the main types of drugs. And most drugs fit into one of these families. The main types of drugs. I'm going to do this in concept map form because it's a good way to take a lot of details and put them in family. So I'm going to turn it sideways and my main topic, which goes in the middle, is going to be types of drugs. A circle around it. And we'll go into detail on the different categories of drugs later, but we're just going to start with the main categories and how they affect your body. So you have two main categories. You have stimulants and depressants. But the first type we'll talk about, which will be stimulants. And these are going to be called your uppers. They speed up everything in your body, your heart rate, your breathing rate, for some people their mood, etc. So your stimulants, some examples of stimulants will be meth, you would also have cocaine, you also have medical uses like Adderall and Ritalin. These are doctor prescribed for ADD, but sometimes they are abused. Then you have legal ones like caffeine and unfortunately nicotine. So these are the main categories that we're going to talk about when it comes to stimulants. These are probably the ones you've heard about the most. Let me see if I want to add anything to there. No, I just want to keep this general. These are your uppers. They're going to speed up your body. So the opposite of that is going to be your depressants. These are going to be your downers. Downers. They're going to slow everything down. Your heart rate, your breathing rate, they're relaxing, muscle relaxers, etc. In fact, I'll even put that as our first type. These will be things like tranquilizers, like Valium. I'm going to slow down the body. All right. Another type would be alcohol. Sometimes when people have alcohol poisoning, which we'll talk about a little bit later, their breathing rate goes down to about eight a breath every eight seconds, which is very, very slow. Sometimes people can slow their heart down to the point where it just stops beating. Alcohol would be a good example of a depressant. Let's see. Xanax, people take this. It's prescribed by some doctors for anxiety. There's other less habit-forming options, but some doctors choose Xanax. Let's see, Valium. Also in this category, you have your things like roofies, your date rape drugs, where the rapist would slip someone a forget-me-not pill, which means they completely black out, and then it wipes away their short-term memory, so it's like the perfect crime for the perpetrator. Um, this would be, I'll put in categories over here, what you guys would know is your roofies. I'll spell it like the roof, but it's actually a PH. Your date rape drugs. Let me see if I should add anything else to your depressants. Um, actually, tobacco starts as a stimulant and then it gives a person the relaxing effect. So I'm just going to kind of connect nicotine to depressants because it's a little bit of both. All right, our next category is going to be our synthetics or our man-made drugs. So these will be synthetics. So these are things that are not based on the natural substance. Like you can think about marijuana. That comes from the cannabis plant. So that's a natural substance. These are going to be made in meth labs and different locations that are highly dangerous, a lot of toxic waste, but they're designed for a certain high. So I'll just put in parentheses here. These are going to be your man-made drugs. So an example of a man-made drug will be your LSD, which you guys know as acid probably. Ecstasy, which is your love drug. They make people feel connected and accepting and open, popular in the rave scene. It's kind of sad if you need a drug to feel those ways, but some people do. You have your super dangerous ones like bath salts, which cause people to get into a zombie-like state. 
There was one that made the skin like black and blue and scaly. And look at crocodile skin. So it got nicknamed or called crocodile. I think I might have, I know that it's not spelled like crocodile. It's spelled a little bit like that. But if I got that wrong, I'm apologizing in advance. Let's see, salvia. That's a hallucinogen. Synthetic marijuana, which is spice or K2. These are the main designer drugs that we will be focusing on, or synthetic drugs. All right. The next category is going to be your hallucinogens. These are going to cause your senses to get crossed. Hallucinogens. These are going to be things that cause you to like hear colors and taste sounds. They're going to cause you to hallucinate. All right, so the natural ones would be a cactus called peyote. I'll just put, this is a cactus. Another natural hallucinogen would be shrooms or mushrooms. But then you have some man-made forms of hallucinogens. And this is going to be a special type of hallucinogen where you dissociate from yourself. And when the person is tripping on this drug, they actually look down on themselves and see themselves outside of their body. Okay, so this category of hallucinogens is going to be a sub one called disassociatives. Some disassociative drugs would be special K or ketamine. This is what they use to put some animals under some surgery for like whatever they're getting surgery for it puts them in a surgical state sorry i can never say that it puts them in a surgical state so it's like you are putting yourself in an anesthetic state like you would prior to surgery so ketamine so the person has a little high before they pass out and then they go into that state where they're looking down on their body um lsd acid is a man-made version this is also man-made as well so i'll put this down here just associatives are synthetic as well. Um, one of the most dangerous drugs on the planet is PCP. This one can get you high by just touching it. This is going to be called angel dust. So let's recap. Hallucinogens cause you to have an out-of-body experience where you look down on yourself. Special K or ketamine, PCP, these are man-made hallucinogens. Some natural ones would be mushrooms or the cactus peyote. All right, the next category that I want to go over is a drug found a lot in younger middle school students, and this would be something called inhalants. Inhalants are anything that someone would snuff, snort, put in a paper bag, and put over their mouth so they can achieve some sort of a high. So these are just household products like glue, aerosol cans, whippets, things like that. Household products that someone would sniff intentionally to get high. Talk more about that later. The next category of drugs is going to be your cannabinoids. Or I'll just put here cannabis. You guys know these as just basically marijuana. We'll talk about marijuana and CBD oil um, in a few weeks or days. You also have your hash oil. They use that sometimes to make edibles, things that people eat like brownies to get high, and hashish. So these are all derivatives of the cannabis plant that are used to achieve some sort of a high for the person. And the last one we're going to go over is the most tragic and most common one at this point the president actually called this, we know about pandemics right now, he called opioid use an epidemic, which means it's a major problem plaguing our society. So I'm going to put opioids here. And your opioids are mainly going to be, you guys, your painkillers. They go into your brain and literally block you from feeling pain. You do not feel pain when you're taking these. These will be things like morphine, oxycotton, heroin. We'll talk more about the details later. Codeine and cough syrup. 
So these come from the poppy plant and they make someone sleepy and relaxed, just like Dorothy on the Wizard of Oz when she fell asleep in the sea of poppies or why poppy seeds make someone test positive in excess on a drug test is because opioids come from the poppy plant and that's its inerrant effect on people, that sleepy, calm, pain relieving effect. I'm not saying poppy seed muffins are going to relieve pain. These are just cousins in that same family. So the opioids are the painkillers. This is a major topic, which we will address later. So these are your main categories, your uppers, your downers, your man-made drugs, your hallucinogens, things that you inhale, cannabis, and your painkillers.